Good morning, guys. <laughs> How you doing this morning? I'm still alive. I made it through one week with these two. Okay, ready? Yeah! Okay. Sit. Okay! So I hope you guys have had a wonderful week. Um, it is Saturday today for us over here. Hey! Hey guys! Hey guys! What you up to? What you up to today? They'll answer you in the comments, baby. <laughs> so that they can't hear you right now as we making the video. Ah! Gotta love the babies, okay? Oh. Sir, sir, we have to leave this uh, plant alone, okay? I don't need your help re redecorating, sir. You can go in your brother's room and play with toys. Or come in here with them. But, uh, yeah, today, I don't really know too much what we're going to do. I'm going to try to do a makeup video today, and I'll have to do that when the kids um, go down for the nap for this afternoon. But, yeah, it's been quite the adventure, <laughs> to say the least, to have two children in the house at my young mature age <laughs> um, I said first two nights by myself it was a little difficult it really was so y'all let me know if you want me to like really sit down and talk to you about you know this whole experience of um, pretty much starting over you know with with kids at a young and mature age <laughs> and I'll get that video up for you guys other than that life has been pretty normal um, just trying to get a routine going just trying to you know make sure everything is safe for the baby and you know AJ's been a great big brother been a great help to me so yeah I'm just you know trying to maintain trying to keep it all together and um, keep me in the process so that's the whole thing about being parent a parent whether you are um, young or whether you are our age so it's just all about making sure that you keep you and you have to keep yourself first because if you if you fall to the wayside everything else is gonna fall to the wayside that's one thing I learned when I was raising my kids is that you have to make sure you're in a good headspace and Make sure you keep yourself together. Don't let yourself go. You know, you can't do that. So just have to, and it is, it's a lot of work to, you know, maintain yourself. And then if you have multiple children in the house, it's, it's really difficult. But it's worth the effort because if you're happy, that's going to bounce off of you onto the children so you want to always make sure that you take care of uno first it's a must but other than that I just want to check in and say good morning Wait. and um, let you know I was still alive you might see me later on today Wait. I'm trying to get up here. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
Mm. <laughs> you can kiss him. <laughs> Say, mm. <laughs> See? Mwah. Just like that. <laughs> He's a sweet boy. So he love y'all. I tell him all the time when y'all say, um, give AJ a hug and a kiss for me. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Right. <laughs> mm. Yep, yeah, there you go. So he just gave y'all a big old kiss. And he loves y'all as much as y'all love him. So we will um, maybe pop back in later. Sorry the camera's moving, but AJ got my arm. So maybe we'll pop in later um, this afternoon and uh, be a little bit different, you know. <laughs> so I'll see y'all later, okay? Peace out for now.
kicked up after it. All right, guys, so yeah, I still look the same <laughs> as I did this morning, so we didn't go nowhere. Eat your food. Eat your food. So, um, yeah, we just finished eating, and you guys just saw me give baby his medicine, Jamari his medicine. Um, so... The doctors where he was going to in Minnesota uh, said that he has allergies, which is what's causing him to have all of these um, runny noses. And this tool that I was using is called a nose freedom. So it's supposed to, you know, suck up the mucus out of there instead of having to wipe his nose so much till it becomes raw. So that's what I was doing and I gave him some Tylenol and I'm gonna give AJ some too tonight because both of them have runny noses. Uh-uh, don't do that. Sorry guys, sorry you had to see that. Um, I'll try and edit it out so you don't see it. Um, but yeah, so it is 8 o'clock and it's time for them to, uh, the baby's done eating. So AJ getting ready to finish up eating. I'm going to get our clothes ready for the whole week. Um, AJ is out of school on spring break as of tomorrow through the 12th. So... That's going to add some running to my day because I have to now take him to the sitters. So that's a 30-minute drive from here. And um, then I have to get Jamari to his sitter. So, yeah, I have two different sitters. Unfortunately, I couldn't get AJ's sitter to, um, to get him for me. I just came on in the room so the TV won't be interrupting us. <sighs> so yeah, guys. Um, this is going to be an interesting journey for me. And, uh, Needless to say, I go through different type of emotions. You know, one minute I'm excited, next minute I'm... Yeah, just... But for the most part, I'm happy um, to be able to be an important part in their lives. Um, so, yeah... But yeah, if you guys want to see or you want me to talk about how this transition is affecting me uh, because I know that there's other nanas, G-moms, grandmothers, glamama, you know, whatever title you've put on yourself that may be having to step into this role of now raising your grandchildren so if you guys want to want me to talk about how i am transitioning into this and what i do to maintain a balance 
between them and myself and my emotions, their emotions, because, you know, the kids go through things too. You know, this is, um, this is not something that's easy for them to go through as well. So I will be more than happy to talk about that if you guys want me to. So you have to let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, if you don't tell me in the comment section, I don't know that you want to hear about it. Um, this is a journey that I want to take you guys through. And, you know, maybe somebody that's going through it can learn from it. I'll pray about it and, and ask God if that's something that he wants me to do. Because you guys know how I am. I don't do anything unless that's the will of God. That's that's how I live my life. And, yeah, doesn't matter what I want. All that it matters is because if God wants it, it's good, right? So it just makes sense if you do what the will of God is because he ain't going to do anything to you that's going to be negative in your life. And if it is a negative that is upon you, it's only to teach you how to get through that. And it's a testimony of, you know, this is how good God is because he brought me through this dark time or you, you may have to share your story with someone else that may be going through the same thing and then they can see the light come through you and then that brings them to God because we all at the end of the day we want to get through to heaven and, and the only way to do that is to try and live your life as sin free as possible so that's what I'm doing the, the, that is the path that I have taken that is the way that I want to live my life because when I close my eyes and my tongue is stuck to the roof of my mouth, the next time I open my eyes and speak, I want to be in heaven and thanking God for his glory. So, yeah. And I want to take as many people with me as possible. I want to see y'all in heaven as well. My family included. You guys are my family as well. You might not be blood related, but I still consider you guys my family. So, anyway, let me get off of here because I got clothes I need to iron, and I got dishes I need to wash, and I got to bathe myself again because the baby been just, yeah. Y'all, if you got babies, you know what it is. So, yeah, I got to get myself in the bath again before I lay myself down to sleep and on that note whatever you have to go through in life know that God is with you stay focused on him I, I can't say that enough to just stay focused on God because if you stay focused on him, everything else is going to fall into place the way that it should. You won't have to plan anything. All you have to do is just follow through. So stay fancy. Stay focused on God. Stay prayed up. Like you can never say enough prayer in a day. E even if it's just, Lord, please help me. That's a prayer. Okay? So do that when you start to feel overwhelmed because he hears you. He already knows what you need. He already knows what you stand in need of. And he already knows what you want, right? So do those things. Stay fancy and stay with us. And we'll see you in the next video.